This story is called Gone Hiking. Chris and Jody loved to hike in the woods. After a long work week, they decided to spend their weekend camping in the mountains. They got off work early one Friday afternoon and packed their things as usual. They went on their way that Friday afternoon. They drove out of the city, and a few hours later, they found themselves pulling into a secluded wooded area. They pulled their small hatchback into their favorite spot, a lonely, secluded, wooded spot named Dead Man's Curve. There was no sign of life. That's the way they liked it. It was their own private hideaway. The sun was slowly setting, and Chris was in a hurry to do some hiking just before sundown. He jumped out of the wagon and said, Leave everything in the car. We'll unpack as soon as we hike a mile or two. Jody was not sure that was a good idea and suggested that she'd stay and unpack their things. Chris agreed, thinking, I'll hike for half an hour and come back. Nothing can possibly happen during that time. Chris hiked for more than half an hour. He looked at his watch and realized that he'd hiked longer than what he said he would. He headed back as fast as possible. As he arrived to the car, he noticed that the camp was already set and something was cooking in the pot and it sure did smell good. He called for Jody, but there was no answer. He figured she walked into the woods to use the bathroom or to pick up some wild spices for the meal. So he decided to quench his thirst with some nice refreshing V8. He walked up to the ice chest that was set near the boiling pot of food. He opened the chest and pulled out a bottle of V8 juice. As he threw his head back to take in a large gulp, his eyes fixed on a figure hanging from a tree. It was upside down, hanging by a rope. Its skin had been torn to shreds as if skinned alive. As the liquid poured into his mouth, he realized that it didn't taste like tomato juice, but it rather tasted like blood. With horror, he looked at the pot, and inside the pot was a boiling heart. He let out a scream. As he attempted to run, he felt a sharp pain on top of his head, and his vision became blurred as he fell to the floor. A few minutes later, he came to, but his vision was upside down. He heard grunting and sharp, painful burns to his skin. As he turned his head, he found Joe. She was there right beside him. He let out one last scream. His vision turned black and silence engulfed him. <laughs>